Uh, this is the 29th Israel Film Festival. Uh, tell me how how this got started and why you're doing this. Uh, I started when I was a student in college, uh, in Berkeley College of Music in Boston. I came to study in 1979. And after a year, I decided that uh, the music, I've been in the music business before. My group is called Kaveris, Kaveris, was the biggest one that ever came out of Israel. And I came to study music after I'd been, I was successful in the music, I came to study start from the beginning. And after a year that I studied in Brooklyn, Boston, I, uh, somebody asked me if I can bring two films to Boston, a professor from BU, Boston University. And I went back to Israel and I spoke with a uh, producer named Menachem Golan, that's already passed away. And uh, he gave me two films. And somebody asked me, are you doing a festival? What do you mean? And he said, listen, if you do a festival, I can do advertising, marketing, distribution. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. And then from that, I decided to go back to Los Angeles, to Boston. I, started, I continued to study, but I decided to do a festival in Boston, the first New England Israeli Film Festival in 1982. And uh, it was so successful because uh, a doctor, a dentist, came to me the first day and asked me if I'm going to advertise in the Boston Globe. And I said, no. He said, why not? I would like everybody to know about the festival here in Boston. That I cannot afford it, it's very expensive. I would pay for it. I said, okay. So I came to my uh, basement, I had a little table there, and he took an ad. He put it in Boston Road in the, week, uh, in the week, uh, weekend, in the Sunday Boston Road. It came out on Saturday, and the next day on Sunday, the festival was four days. Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday we had five screenings, 600 seats, sold out all the screenings, it was amazing, and two weeks later, I went already to New York. I left the school, and I said, now I'm going to do it in New York. And that's the way it started. Wow. So, uh, now Los Angeles, this year's festival, we're coming fairly near the end of it this, this year. Uh, how do you assess how it's been this year at this 20th festival in LA? Uh, I think it was uh, you know, very successful, the opening night, we honor Ellen Mirren. The actress, the Oscar winner, and uh, Aaron Sorkin, the screenwriter of uh, Steve Jobs, uh, she did uh, a woman called Gold, a woman in Gold. Uh, this was amazing. This was uh, the best that you can get from uh, touching the Israel Film Festival of Hollywood. And what she said on stage, uh, Ellen Merritt was amazing. She said, I love Israel and Israelis. And it got so much write-ups in Israel uh, because of what she said. And, and also here, uh, I spoke with uh, Steven Spielberg uh, a couple of days ago, not Steven Spielberg, with his special advisor. And uh, he said, Mayor, you had such a, a, an impact this time on the Hollywood community, you got so much write-ups in Variety and Hollywood Reporter. It is amazing what you did this year. And I said, yeah, this is the right year to do before you get to the early anniversary. So I think uh, we managed to get the right, uh, you know, touch to, to the festival to, to kind of to build up to the 30th anniversary. Now, uh, you, you, I've heard uh, Hebrew spoken here in, in the area just around the theater. It, is it a combination of Israelis and uh, Americans who come to the Israel Film Festival? Uh, yeah, we have a combination of uh, American Jews, Israelis, film goers, uh, the community, different kinds of people that are interested in foreign films. So, and we have it's a three week festival, it's a long festival this year. So, I mean, I'm very happy with the result. Very, very happy. There's a. Um, in, the, in the American film right now, in the American film industry, there's a lot of emphasis on faith films. You know, we're seeing stories from the Bible and that sort of thing being uh, redone. And, and some of them are hits and some of them are, are more of a failure. 
do you see the same thing among the, in the Israeli film that, uh, in the industry that there is a, a, a growing emphasis on faith uh, within it and within the town? We don't see it right now so much. I see more uh, films about Israeli culture, or different kind of cultures that are just something kind of new. It used to be like 10, 15 years ago that the conflict between Israel and Palestinians was kind of the most the topic of the, of the era. In 20 films, 30 films that we brought, half of them were about Arab and Israeli culture. But now you don't see those films anymore. You see one, two, we don't see many things about faith. There we do. I don't know why. Maybe the Israelis are not so religious about their filmmakers. So this is not such a topic that are interesting. But you can see some films they have a kind of a religious, but more a Jewish religious topic. You can find that. Um, we had a film a long time ago. No, I don't feel. I'm sorry. Can you settle? Go ahead. So, go again. There was someone loud that day. Go ahead. Oh, okay. No, you're good. You're good. Go ahead. You just had an audio problem. Uh, yeah. So, so the BDS movement not not reaching the Israeli film. Uh, no, I did I don't think so. I didn't know. I think there's no connection with Israeli filmmakers uh, making their films. Really, what you see in this year's festival is interesting that we have a lot of young filmmakers, first time filmmakers. I mean, almost I can say in 29 years we never had so many first time filmmakers uh, that are you know, making a first feature film. And that's very interesting because you feel that there's a new, new upcoming uh, industry, uh, uh, a new wave of younger filmmakers. So I don't know which direction they're going to go. But I think, uh, you know, we had uh, 11 films in, in the Toronto Film Festival this year. So, I think the Israeli films are doing well. Even they are young, they're still making very good films. Now, you personally live in Israel. Uh, do you spend most of your time there, or are you usually traveling to promote Israeli films? In the last uh, more than 25 years, I lived here in Los Angeles, in New York. I moved to Israel with my family about two years ago. And my commitment to, uh, to the film festival is still there, so that's what I'm doing. I work in Israel, and in my office uh, downstairs it's the Israel Film Festival in Los Angeles in English. So uh, basically that's what I do. The film festival in Israel or here. I'm, I'm traveling usually three times, four times a year to Los Angeles to raise money, what we have to. And uh, we do special events uh, before the festival just to get some awareness. And uh, then I come here for the festival for almost two months. And then young kids, four months. Uh, and also 11 and 12. So we uh, are still young, a young family, even a lot of Most Americans, I believe, would, would just follow pretty much the Hollywood. Uh, Filmmaking, and maybe have never seen an Israeli film. What would you tell them about why it's good to, to look into the Israeli films that are being made? Now? I think what's interesting about the Israeli films are the you know the storytelling. I think they tell each of them a very specific personal or not personal story. That I think that American films are not you know they are more into reaching a wide audience, so the, the personal storytelling is not there. And I think uh, that's, that's a good reason why to come and see Israeli film, because it's, it's seeing maybe the, the Holy Land, films from the Holy Land, very important.
What do you hope for next year's film festival? Be bigger? Uh, any kind of theme? Uh, what, are you already thinking about it, or do you have two, your hands full right now with this? Uh, I'm already started to think. Yeah, it should be the biggest festival that we made up till now. There's no question about it. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a theme right now, but it's going to be, you know, probably more connected to Hollywood. We want to be more connected to the Christian community, and we're already there. Uh, and uh, we want to do a very special event with the Christian community uh, to bring them in to see a little bit, uh, at least one right Israeli film that would be right for them to, to watch and to bring them to be close to, to Israel and, uh, you know, do other uh, special events because it's the 30th anniversary and people are expecting a big event. Good. Anything you'd like to add that we haven't touched on? Uh, wishing everybody a uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I got a question. Uh, and this is look at John if you want to uh, answer this. Um, and this in this day and age, in the times we're living in, why is it important to stand with Israel right now? Because, as uh, you know, Israel is a democratic, or probably the only democratic country in the, in, in the area, in the Middle East. And what you see right now, what happened in Paris, uh, this is something new that people didn't expect to happen. And we are really... everybody is scared now. And not just Israelis are scared about the situation. Everybody is here, and uh, we have to support Israel because in Israel we don't do this kind of things. You know, in, in, in any circumstances, we're trying to be as you know uh, human as possible, and I think that's very important. A follow-up to that, uh, you know, this just the, the, the French attack was coordinated, and it was all over Paris. Uh, you know, when you put.